Hi guys, it's Jeff here again with Oru Kayak. We're going to talk about paddle orientation today. When we have the paddle in our hand, we want to orientate. If I orientate towards you, we want to have the scooped face facing you. The scoop face has a name. It's called the power face. We want to have the long end of the blade on the top and the short end of the blade on the bottom there. Sometimes you might find yourself with the paddle orientated this way. It's backwards. It'll still work, but the paddle will feather as you go along. So that's where the, the top end here, the short end is on the top, long end is on the bottom. Go ahead and just spin the paddle like that. You're ready to go. We want to go ahead and find out where we're going to put our hands. So a T-test is a great way to do that. We're going to put it on top of our head and then we're going to move our arm so our forearm's at about 90 degrees and that's going to form the paddler's box. Paddler's box is the shaft, left arm, right arm, and our chest. Really important to protect our shoulders when we're paddling. So they say seven to eight pounds of force can blow out a shoulder. So when you're going to move your paddle, you want to move the entire paddler's box as you do that. If we're doing a forward stroke, we're here, we're reaching out in front, our arms are straight-ish, and we're moving the entire paddler's box. We're keeping the arms straight. We're not breaking the box by bending the elbows. You might want to think about a beach ball here. That's sometimes helpful. We want to keep this paddler's box intact as we paddle. I hope that video is helpful in getting your paddle orientated correctly. If you want to know more about paddling, check out orokayak.com and I hope to see you out on the water.